Hi boys and girls, I'm out here with Braden today. What's up? And we got CJ, and uh, we're just doing a little bit of bait fishing right now. You know the vibes. Catching a couple sardines. They're not biting great, but they're marking like crazy. They're just not biting great. That's just how it is sometimes. Braden's just kind of showing up Jay right now. Very really standard. Is. Very standard. We got like, probably like 70, 80 baits in the well. For one second, just wanted to go ahead and talk about our new performance shirts that we just got in. This is the ice blue, then we also got the gray. We got two colors. These are our moving weight fishing performance shirts. If you guys would like to purchase one right now, I'll have a link down below to my website, movingweightfishing.com. They're SPF performance sun shirts. They're great shirts to wear on the boat fishing. Now let's get back to bait fishing. Uh, yeah, go. yeah, go. go. Oh my goodness. Jay, Jay, Jay. You're gonna smoke a brain. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, Braden smoked them. Yeah, yeah just real, just perf, just like that. And then just when you get close, just fling them in the boat. They're swimming you up, keep reeling. Just put them in the boat. There you go. Nice. All right, I'm gonna help you out. Uh, Braden's dealing some deans. I know you. All right, Braden, get back to it. Actually, we do not get back to it, we're not marking anymore. Catching, this is Cigar Minnow, and this is a live sardine. Little one-two. Little one-two Mayweather. They're both gonna catch mutton, so that's all that matters. Braden's stealing them. We know him. Jay Machine, got him on. How you doing, Braden, you got him? Yeah. You're about to deal him. It's like watching a fajita just swirl around. I think he got a twofer. And just fling him in the boat when he gets close. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Primo. Let's go. Oh, you see that? And D hooked him with my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> just gotta look at him. Whoa. Yo! This thing just yeeted out of the well. Strong. Right to the boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a fourfer if I've ever seen it in my life. Fling him right in the boat. Oh, so many just came off. It's alright. You want to de-hook him for me, brother? There you go. I got you. Nice sardines. Can't beat it. Oh. Beat it. Uh, Two for. All right, quick four. Yeah, just be careful. Those hooks stink. So, if you guys are wondering who Braden is, he's a homie that lives in my neighborhood, and he has to go fishing. He said he loves the channel, so I'm like, let's do it. Talk to CJ. Well, first I talked to Brandon, like, what do you want to do? He's like, I want to go deal some money to CJ. I was like, say no more. Say less. Say less. CJ hates mountain fishing. Yeah, I really do. Nah, that's his favorite thing to do. We're just messing around. So, finally got a good weather window. You can tell it's really flat out here. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put Brandon on some muttons. Show him how it's done. He's already getting to experience a little bit of bait fishing. What do you think so far? You like it? For all Braden's friends watching at home, I appreciate you guys all supporting the channel. But uh, we're gonna catch like probably a dozen more baits here and then head offshore. We have a lot of tide on the bait rock, so we're gonna see what it's like out deep. If we have too much tide, we'll just go drift, catch some dolphin, sailfish, blackfin, we'll see. Maybe an occasional wahoo that CJ will lose. <laughs> Not even gonna talk about that. And uh, I don't know where I went. I don't, I don't know, know why you <laughs> We'll see you guys in a little bit. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Just just um, lift up and then just when he wants to run, let him run. Giant sailfish. Oh. Just smoke Braden. Adam. Get him another bait out. There you go, perfect, just like that, Braden. Huge sail, dude. Yee perfect, just like that. Let him run when he wants to run. He's dumping you. Look at him, look at him just, just greyhounding on top there. You got, you're gonna have a long fight ahead of you. When he, just let him run, just let him get tired, and then we'll slowly bring him in. Good job. He smoked uh, CJ's back rod, he bit it because it wasn't moving. I, and then I just wanna start tweaking and picked it up. Very sail-esque out today. A little light drizzle. 
a little weight off the chest. First fish. Dude, that thing's out there. He just did a backflip. He's all the way in Nantucket, Braden. It's all right, you got plenty of line on there. Just keep your rod tip up. There you go, just like that. That's a unit. Got a long fight. Anything to say to the fans at home? <laughs> it's just sick. <laughs> it's cold, boys and girls. It, it is super overcast. It's probably, the sun's probably not gonna come out all day. We got a huge rainstorm in there, but it's like a light drizzle. Braden's still getting dumped. We'll check back up with you when he's closer to the boat. Yeah, now you can start. Oh, he's still running, he's still running. So we're like 10 minutes into the fight here. Braden's putting a hurting on this big sail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Braden's moving weight. This is a huge sailfish, like, like a real, real big one. Definitely one of the bigger sails I've ever seen. Of course, happens to be his first sail. I said, no help, we're not gonna chase him. A lot of guys, if you've ever caught a sailfish, will go chase the sailfish and break it off. We're giving Brayden the full experience. We're making him reel to the boat. Oh, yeah. The full workout today. And this is just fish number one, so you know how it is. Yeah. yeah. Hold on for a sec, Brayden. Give me the line. We got weeds. What? Here, watch out. He's going to come up. Nah, he's all right. Come in. I, I am. Hold the rod. Hold the rod. You're good, Brayden. All right. You're good. Come back here. All right, Braden, now he's gonna give you the walk around. Oh, yeah. Right here, perfect. Just like I see him on top, right here. It's a big one, dude. Come on, get him in. Oh, no, you're all right. I know you're just a little tired. Look at him. Look, he's about to jump right here. Good job. You got him whooped. Yeah, just nice and light now, nice and light. If he wants to run, Braden, let him run, okay? Yes. He's probably gonna do like a surf around the boat. Now walk with me back over here. Keep coming. You good? Under me? <laughs> Look how big he is. Oh, he's in a dredge. <laughs> Should I reel more? Yeah. Uh, you're good, you're tight on. Crank down, one more. There you go, come yeah. Alright, I'll bring him right to me. No. <laughs> you caught him right. Look, he's got wire. Oh, that's ours. I don't know why I said it like that. Look at this, Braden. Come here. Look at the remora. Is that a remora? Yeah, you can put the rod um, in this rod holder right here. Alright. Bring him in the boat. Definitely should just lift him up, but you don't have to. Alright. All right, be careful. Right, just spring to the boat. No, yeah, just pull them up front there. Right, yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Come here. Oh. There it is. Be careful of his giant bill. Oh my God. Look. All right. All right. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know either. Look how pretty this sail is. Good job, Bray. Give me the fist bump. Yeah. Good job. We're gonna give her at least we're gonna get a couple pictures and release. Alrighty. Braden on his first sailfish. Give me some, Braden. Let's go. Good job. Super pretty fish. You no. Know, little recreational day. Look at his eye. Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah, just keep his head on our water just like that. We'll keep going off for like another 30 seconds and then we'll just give him one big shove and we'll swim off, okay? Brayden, you know that one's bigger than you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is. It should bigger than him. Yeah, it's a giant. I think he's getting better. Yeah, he is. He's breathing. He's doing good. They're just kind of weaker fish, you know. They don't have a lot of life in them. He also whooped them. All right, whenever you're ready, just give him one big shove. Just like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Nah, he's going. Let's we'll swim right off. Boys and girls, we just came in from offshore. And we're doing a little bit of chicken rigging now. There you go, drop her down. You guys have seen that before on the channel. Cut sardine, two chunks, and catching some mangrove snapper lane. Take home for dinner. Chase back there, probably not catching anything. Very standard. All right, right when you right when you hit bottom, close your bail and reel up your slack, you're gonna get, you're gonna get bit. All right, close it and reel, and then wait for a good bite. 
He laid up on a nice dinner, a dinner fish. There you go, there you go. Oh, that was a good bite. It's all right, you'll get him. We'll come back for it. We're catching a couple mangroves for dinner. Definitely here. And uh, and then maybe we'll go and catch Braden's first snook or a mutton snapper. But drop a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the video so far. And drop a thumbs up for Braden catching that giant sailfish. Good job, buddy. Crush it on that big sail. Better than I could pull in a fish. I and mean, you guys know me, like I'm not, I'm a little suspect. We're getting a couple bites, but only put one mango over in the boat so far. Braden's trying to make it happen right here. All right, so wait till you get the good bite. Rip it up, rip it up. Oh. It's okay. He's got a nice one on. All right, close your bail, bridge. Not reeling really slack, keep reeling, keep reeling. Go over real. Hooks at him. Oh, Get him. Oh, real. Double. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Oh, they got a double. Try right. You almost had him. Top, top one. Man. Top one won't make it. A little mangroves here. You almost had him there, Braden. That one's definitely deep, right? Oh. oh, that's a nice, that's a nice mangrove. Crank on him. Go! Oh, you got. Ah. Oh. Now, so remember those things I was telling you about Goliath Grouper? Just hold on to that rod. <laughs> Help us. It's not gonna do anything with it. Alright, I'm gonna have to break them off. Sadly. Nothing. I know. We had a nice dinner fish there. Oh, keep distracted while Jade's got one on. Alright, you're good. Oh, let me reel it in for you. Well, Braden, that was our dinner fish. We'll get another one. So I think they they're literally sitting down there waiting. Oh it's not it. What? What is it? Look at this. Hold them up. That's a dog snapper. Look how sick that is. That's a pretty fish. Okay, I'm pretty sure he had a big, big dog snapper, or a big, like a big, big mangrove. Did you see that thing? It was smoking. Yeah, it was. It was a big one. It's a nice fish. It's so loaded. It's like electric blue. Yeah, it's so sick. That's that's gonna be good eats for you, Brayden. Brayden's got him on. Oh, oh, get him, get him. Good job, good job. All right, we got it. You got him. Keep going now. Keep going. Don't. Go. Oh no. Spoke to so real, real. He ate it. He let it go. He just said real, real. Uh -oh. he may have been. Did he suck it off the hook? I think he still got him though. Real. Uh, yeah. Dude, he's he literally inhaled it. Oh my god! Oh my god look at the Jew fish. You see him? He ate the lead. Still got to keep her mangrove though. Maybe. Yeah. Good job. They are so bad here on our reef, man. We can't. It's tough. You can't catch a bottom fish. You got so many Goliath grouper down there. But we still got the fish in the boat. He did eat the weight. Oh, what was that? Reset on him. He's going to get Goliath Grouper. Almost there. A couple more cranks. Five more cranks. Literally five more. Keep going. A little bit. All right, Jace, grab the line. Perfect. Let's hold it right there. Nice mutton. It's a mutton, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Braden. Oh yeah. Good job. Give me some. Tired? Oh my gosh, that fish went on. Nice. Good job. Nice one. Oh. Hard fighting? Yeah, that's hard. That's a good one. It's your first mutton? Yeah. Aren't they pretty looking? Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Got tail. I know, so pretty. You Got the rating? black and the yeah he does. Look. Look at this light wire hook. Raven, what do you guys say to the moving white fan? Uh Nothing much, I guess. Unreal too. Unreal too? Yeah, sure. Do you have fun today? It's pretty lit, yeah. Love to see that. Finally put uh, Brayden on his first mutton, sailfish. And we didn't have great conditions today, but the tide, we had a little too much tide. And I know you guys are always hearing me talk about tide, 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 but it matters. See, we had the perfect amount of tide in here. This spot a little bit shallow came in. Caught Brayden a nice mutton. You whooped them. They fight hard, don't they? All right, let's hold it up for a picture. All right, Jay always tells me never to put the fly line out. He doesn't want to be on camera right now because he hates me. Every time we put it out, we catch a dolphin. Braden's got, okay. that's a pretty nice sized dolphin. Come over on. the top here? Yeah. Here, just like that, perfect. <coughs> I just choked. 
Keep reeling. Good job. Get the little gaff out for you. Just keep reeling. Bring them to me. There you go. Quite like a bonita. I didn't jump you. <laughs> <laughs> you see why CJ hates me, Braden? I understand. Among many reasons. For many reasons. No. Me and CJ love each other. We just mess with each other a lot. You guys know how it is. Isn't he fighting hard in the tide? It's a pretty nice one, Braden. Not Put, really. Well, I literally said earlier too. I was like, it's Mahi asking here. It's kind of small. Small? You're getting work. Dude, you ain't bad. Like Yo! Days coming together, right? Sun came out. Oh, dolphin only bite when the sun comes oh. out. Braden, you want to hold him up? Uh, hold the gaff. Wait, Here, yeah, hold, hold the gaff. The gaff. Right. Just like that. Sick, buddy. So sick. We're gonna throw this fish in the core, get baits back out, take a couple pictures of Braden. Uh -uh. All right, so we came in here into 50 feet of water. We started fishing in like 200 feet. Caught that one nice sailfish for Braden. He did a good job on it. And then it was kind of slow after that. We did a little bit of chicken rig. You saw that, caught a couple snappers for the box. But the Goliath group were so bad, they kept eating us, came in shallow. Instantly he caught his first mutton, like a four or five pounder, and then caught a nice dolphin, like seven, eight pound dolphin. So you can't complain with that, especially catching them right off the beach is pretty cool. We're looking at land right here. I can't show you where, you know me. But uh, what do you guys say, Braden? Dealing them? Um, yeah, pretty much just doing them. Dealing them. You love to see that. So, if you guys have enjoyed the video, if you're still watching, definitely still drop a thumbs up. It really helps spread the videos. If we can get 2,000 likes on this video, that would mean a lot to me. So, let's go ahead and do that. And shout out to CJ for being CJ and just putting us on the meats today. You know him. Alrighty, so we just switched spots where we caught that from where we got that mutton and the little dolphin. And, um,. Last thing Brayden said he wanted to catch was snook. snook. So if we can make that happen, it'll be a killer day. If not, it was still a really good day, right? Yeah. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Look, for us. Big, look at look at this. Oh my god, big big snook to save me. Ready? Great. Come here. Real, we're real. Get him. Oh, oh, that's okay. Get him up. That's gonna be your biggest snook ever. Yeah. You got a real, got a real. Dude, we're marking so much. Look at the bait. That's all bait. Yeah. No, it's a rock. Okay, it's yeah. Keep reeling. You're doing good. Yeah, it's a big snow. It's insanely big. Come on. There you go. Good job, Braden. Get him. Oh, you whooped him. Right. Perfect. Right here. Oh, that's just filthy. Oh. Nice and light. Here, stop now. Oh, that's just jay. Oh, Again. Oh no. Got Good job. Give me some. We did it. Look at that. Oh, that's sick, dude. We gotta take a picture real quick. Yeah, we gotta take a picture. Should I hold him like I held a snapper? Oh, just... yeah. Dude, you see his pretty blue fins when he came up? Yeah, I thought. All right. That's Jay, the slottest fish. Too bad she's moved here. That is the slottest fish. Slottest fish in my lifetime. Hey, it's a nice fish, dude. Just like that, baby. Oh, yeah. We got it all done. All right, snap a couple picture on the phone, then we'll let it go. I think that's a Bose Joe's Nitos. The way you ate it. Kidding me? He dumped you. No, that's no. not a bonita. Yeah, he's straight up and down. It's got to be a nice snap. He's gonna get you in the rock. You better hurry, son. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, nice snook. Big, definitely way bigger than the last one. Keep going on him. There you go. Good job. Perfect. Oh yeah, Brady. After this one, we're headed to the house. Come on. Make it happen for me. 35, 36 incher. Come on, a couple more cranks, Braden. Right here. Let's go. 34, 35. Yeah. Damn, that's fish. Hey, hey, sir. Give me some. Nice job. Another beauty, it's probably a 34, 35 incher. Really, really clean fish out here. Just, just eating sardines. You can't complain with that. Good job. You ready to go home? Yeah. 
Oh. Never thought you'd say it. Braden won't give I up. Think, uh, it's, it's the end of the day, you know, you gotta end it. Yeah, I know you do. And then see how she sucks on your thumb? Uh -huh. Perfect. See how we're rolling with the tide? Uh -huh. Look at her blue fins, dude. Look at this. You see it? Yeah. Oh, oh. There you go, just like that. Oh. Give me some. Let's go, dude. Good job. All right, boys and girls, we just put the boat back on the trailer. Not a bad day at all. Got the mangroves down there. Nice dolphin, little mutton snapper. Mangroves down deep. Can't complain. Maybe do a little catch gun cook. I'll take a little piece of dolphin. Braden's okay with it. And uh, give Braden some fish. Thanks for coming out. And thanks for watching the videos. Yeah, if you watch the videos and are subscribed and watch all my videos and you can prove to me your day one sub, let me know. I might take you fishing. I might, not making any promises. Braden's a cool kid though, and he crushed it, so good job. That's all I got for you. We'll see you back at the play table. All right, boys and girls, just got back to the house. Got this beautiful dolphin that Braden caught, probably about a seven, eight pounder. I'm gonna go ahead and fillet him up. And sorry about the angle you got right now you're gonna have to deal with. Just play it like any other fish. Beautiful dolphin. This is actually gonna be a good eating fish. And if you're interested in the knife I'm using, because this thing glides like no other, it is a six inch Dexter blade, stiff blade. You can check it out at DexterOutdoors.com. I'll have this exact knife linked down below and you can save 20% off using code ADAM20. So, I always forget, like, I want to bleed dolphin. Like, look at all the blood this thing's got. Go over your page here. Sorry about all the background noise. They're so, dolphin are so bloody, man. And whatever you do, don't cut open their stomachs. Just like that. Beautiful piece of dolphin. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Skin it real quick. beautiful just like that and we're gonna take a piece inside and eat it real quick it is the next night after fishing with Braden and CJ and we are back in the kitchen with Johnson he's actually repping right now and mama Malouse but mama Malouse wasn't feeling fish tonight she wanted to cook some tacos that's okay I, we actually have some snapper that I kept and cleaned you guys saw that Johnson is gonna make a special Livernay's dish. If you guys are subscribed to the channel and been subscribed to me for about a year now, you have seen him make it before. It's an Italian uh, marinara sauce dish. I mean, you gotta be Italian to know this dish. It's so good. But, I mean, what's in the dish, Dad? Uh, there's gonna be onion, olives, capers, uh, black olives, Kalamata olives, um, the uh, family recipe marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. Can't tell them everything. No. Some parsley. You know, everybody's been asking about you. They have? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What have you been telling them? Just secret things. So, Johnson actually makes his own marinara sauce, and it's a super secret recipe, family recipe. If you guys so good. Hold on. Oh, that's hot. That's good, Chance. Oh my God. So good. If you guys want to know the recipe, if this video gets 2,000 likes, will we share the recipe, Johnson? Is that okay with you? 2,000 likes, we'll share the recipe. All right, let's do it. 2,000 likes, and we will share Johnson's marinara recipe. So good. So we got the onions. Hold on. We got onions, black olives. Johnson's cutting up katamata olives. If you don't know what katamata olives are, you should check them out. They're a lot better than regular olives. Sorry about the 
messy kitchen too. We're all, we're all. Pops and Pops and Mama Luce is cooking. I'm kind of just you know putzing around with the camera in my hand, eating a little bit of scraps here and there. You know me. Like I already said in the beginning of this video, please go check out right now our website, movingweightfishing.com. I'll have a link down below. It really helps support the channel if you buy a performance shirt. They're at, they're, they got 30 FPS. They protect you from the sun. I mean, they all the stains wash out. It's what I wear every day fishing. Please go ahead and get, and get one. If you fish or outside in the sun, they're comfortable. You'll like them. So, Adam, we're going to start with some onion. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We're just going to saute that for like five minutes. Okay, so we got the onions going for a couple of minutes, and now we're going to add the garlic. Mm. Adam said not too much garlic because he's got a date with Stormy. I did not say that. Never said that. Onions going. We're going to add some of the homemade sauce. Alright. Tatamata? How's it looking? No, not yet. Ooh, it's looking. How's it looking? It's looking, Chomp. Oop, trippage. Trippage. That homemade marinara is unbelievable. Okay, Adam. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to. I am just going to coat the bottom of this pan. Okay. And then you are going to put the fillets in there. And then we're going to go on top. Yeah. You put the fillets. I'm going to film you. Okay. Where? It's actually Kubera snapper that I caught the other day. Oh, my God. Do you like that better than a mutton snapper? Kubera? Yeah. It's a oh, way I mean, better snapper. I, you know, I like them both. You can't put me on the spot like that. I, it's way better. Do no. I have to choose? Yep. Well, since we're having Kubera tonight, tonight is Kubera. What about tomorrow night? Depends on what you catch. Coat the top there. I just want to eat this marinara sauce Ooh, with some uh, pasta. And some bread. I want to eat this liver nace sauce with some pasta and bread, yeah. Should we um, we're make, some, make pasta? some pasta? Well, we have to. Yeah, we have to. Okay, so we're going to cover this now. It's going to go in the oven. We preheated the oven earlier to 400 degrees. This is going in for anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the filet. These are uh, nice size filet. We're going to check it in 20 minutes. Okay, so we just took um, we took the liver nace out of the oven. It was in there for 25 minutes, and it's done. It is done. Okay. Play this up, John. All right. Let's make some plates. Let's do it. All right. It is dinner time. Plate looks super good. Thank you so much, Johnson. Go ahead and try it. Hey, I enjoyed it. Um, this recipe called for red pepper flakes, something that we normally don't do, so we tried it. Uh, let's see if we can recognize it. Wow, the fish is so tender. Is it? Oh my goodness. It's better than a mutton snapper. Right now it is, yeah. I gotta say yes. Mm. Hey, it's delicious, and I can. There is a little spice to it. Yes, there is. So that, like I said, that's different from what we normally do, but uh, I like it. I gotta try a bite. I gotta try a bite here. So it's my favorite fish dish. God, oh gosh, this fish does look so tender. When you bake fish in sauce, you really can't go wrong. Wow, that is really tender. Incredibly tender. Kubera snapper, it just, it's different. I don't know. Mm. That's unbelievable. Absolutely delicious. If you have not tried this dish, you have to go ahead and try it. It's a classic Italian dish. Such a good sauce. It's, it's so good. So, so good. 
Thank you so much for sticking around for the video. Drop a thumbs up for Johnson. He did a good job cooking for us. Thank you, Johns. And, um, and then asking about you, you know. They have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. We're going to keep pumping out videos. Check out the website. Till next time. Moving weights out.